All right, dude. Sounds good. Okay, bye. Peace out. You know you are good when the people are cheer. The press loves you more than your wife when she's near. The games people play when it comes to the pay. And once again, betray. Yeah, go ahead. Are we ready? I did the task. Quite on the set. I'm isolating your food. That's all we're doing basically on the first one. So you guys can kind of like get in the action. I'll do the mayor. Let's see. Oh, we need, we need an attorney. You need to do the attorney too. Oh, you gotta do Rand. Alright, Julianne. You know what? I'm gonna get this. You as Tabitha in Faith. And then Negrophilia. Meet Negrophilia. Is it Negra or Negra? It's not Negra, it's Negra. This is back to one. Act one, Pied Piper Avenue, the main street running through the town of Hamlin, running next to the river we Weasel, Wesel, what is it? Oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. The we River Weasel, thank you. And near the base of the famous Koppelberg Mountain. How long can this go on? We've tried everything. I'm sure they will like this. I say, what on earth are you doing? I'm letting them try my new stew. Are you insane? We're trying to get rid of the mice. Mice, not <laughs> dying with them. Well, they're all gone, every last one of them. Are you happy? That was like so magically dreamy. OMG, that was amazing. Kenny G, eat your heart out. Yes. Conventional weapons are doing the job. We've called in a cat with a sword, but the mice don't fear. They laugh with a tear and appear to be totally bored. The, the mice, mice are, are eating our food. food. The, the mice, mice are eating our food. But at least if we keep them happy, they won't bite us. Mother always said you shouldn't bite the hand that feeds you. Well, maybe I'd seduce them with my beauty and my charm. That only works with men, not mice. To forget about the barn. We're going to need a miracle, not more like magic, if you will. Someone, something more evil, like a werewolf in the hill. This, in this whole chunk, uh -huh. I'm getting confused, and and maybe it's that we don't have the musical. Yeah, we don't have the bridge of the music, so to, yeah. to lead us into into the so that's yeah, right. so, so, so that's why we. It, it, it's, it looks disassociated. Okay. Is, I think you need to get clear. Don't be looking at that. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay. I think you need to get clear about what story you're trying to tell. You have too many... Um, you Things know, going with, on, with, yeah, different with, plots. Or whatever. Right. You're, you're trying to serve a lot of masters. Mm -hmm. A story about the the parents and the women becoming hoes and the, or am I in the story about the kids trying to break the spell, which seems to me that that's the most important thing mm -hmm. in the second half mm -hmm. of the show. All right. For my sister's And let's work on my vocals some more too. A singing lesson is in order. Yeah, let's do the singing lesson. The bone's back in town. Now move your feet for me, baby. No time to waste. Don't sit there all alone. Gotta get swinging, bum, ba -doo 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 -ba -doo -ba -ba -ba. Okay. Ta-da! But gang, <laughs> we gotta do this with 100% commitment. I mean, we use every top secret, low down, underhanded, I'm talking tactics, only available to the IRS. How are we supposed to get better when we can't even practice? He watches Hannah Montana every day. Please, we can't lose any more children. Don't make me worry about you. All right, Mom, we'll be fine. See you later. Hey, everybody, this is Robin Murkoff. Hi, She's the director of major gifts for Operation Smile, so... Oh, yeah, I don't want to interrupt your, your practice right now, but I just wanted to say thank you all so much for being a part of Jim's musical. As you know, Operation Smile, Smile has been chosen as the charity beneficiary. The main thing to know is that in addition to putting smiles on the faces of all of your attendees, you're also going to help uh, provide life-changing surgery for children in over 60 partner countries uh, who don't have a chance to provide facial deformity surgery for themselves. We're able to provide that for over 15,000 kids every year, and hopefully a large chunk of that will come from uh, the Pied Piper Meets the Bone Man once we get into production. So thank you guys so much for your support. We really started this whole thing. Um, it, it just happened on a red carpet. Scotty and I were at a red carpet event, and there was two celebrities that were ambassadors for Operation Smile. And, you know, we started talking about the, as the aspects of the Pied Piper, taking all the children, and then, then I was like, well, maybe they can never smile again after the Pied Piper takes them, and then when the Bowman brings them back, they can smile. And then we started talking with Operation Smile, and it was really wild. About six months ago, I was saying, God, is there a, is there a kid that couldn't smile, you know, sing or anything? And matter of fact, they were so disfigured, they actually um, 
they actually walked into the screening rooms in, in these countries with bags over their heads. They were so disfigured. And one of those girls, about three weeks ago, uh, I was chosen to perform in the gala with her, okay? And her name was Chadlene. Um, but just so you know, there's something behind the story. We're not just sitting here, you know, a bunch of talking heads, knocking on a musical. We're doing something that, that makes sense, you know, to help people.